Yep. <laughs> right. I second that. <laughs> uh, caller, uh, one of our favorites, a meet, he, him, uh, thinks he might be asexual, but doesn't know if it is more how he was raised or actual asexuality. Hey, I mean, how's it going? Hi, everyone. Hi, Ethan. What? Hi, Hannah. Hi, Tangel. Hi. How you doing? I'm doing well. Uh, and you you probably knew I was going to call this week. I, had to. I was betting on it. Uh, <laughs> uh, so I had I had like a bunch of questions, but let me let me start off with um, the main one, right? Um, I think I may be asexual. I, I, I suspect that I might, there's a chance that I might be asexual, but I think it could also be because of the culture and the religion that I was raised in. I'm not sure. And the fact that asexuality is such a big umbrella term also kind of makes me um, question it because I, I, it's not like I'm unattracted to people, but I do tend to relate very strongly to people who say, yeah, I need to form an emotional bond with people before I, um, before I am attracted to them, which kind of, if I'm not wrong, sounds like demisexuality. Right. Yeah, no, I, I, so that's I suppose the question is, sorry. No, you go ahead. I wasn't sure if the delay had stopped or you did. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I suppose. Um, how how do I know if it was if it's just you know me working through stuff in my head versus who I actually like whether I actually have like um, whether I actually do fall on the spectrum of asexuality. Tangela, you want to take a stab at that? Yeah. <laughs> um, do you have raging boners and have a huge need to fuck someone? <laughs> it really comes down to that. Or That's do you think you could live without question. sex? Are you, are you craving the cuddles and the closeness and the relationship? Or are you really just needing to um, orgasm? Uh, is it a sex drive you're feeling or that drive for companionship and closeness? Um, so the answer is it's complicated. I'm sorry, that probably doesn't help. Uh, yes, I, I do definitely crave the cuddles and the relationship. That is 100% hmm. Sorry, I interrupted. Um, I do. Oh, no, that's okay. Uh, I do have boners, but that's usually from me waking up in the morning with a boner or, <laughs> you know, um, I'm like, my mind starts wandering and I suddenly like, uh, you know, the, like the uncontrollable boner. But like, usually that's something that I'm, I'm okay with just masturbating and getting rid of. It's not like I need sex. It, it sounds like you have either a low sex drive or because okay. culture and religion can't affect your bodily reactions. It can stop how you handle them, but it can't really mm -hmm. prevent your body from reacting the way it would normally react. So a uh, raging bunny, yeah, that's definitely it. Um, so I would suggest you may have a low sex drive or you might, might even be on the asexuality spectrum um, but obviously, I'm not a doctor, and we're just having a little brief conversation here. Right. Um, but it also sounds like you're just a really nice okay. person yeah. who pri prioritizes affection and relationships and connection. So that's just really nice. It, it could be. I, I don't know myself. So, like, there's literally <laughs> it's a question mark out there. <laughs> Um, I suppose the, the question I have that, that follows that is um, it, is, it, is it wrong to assume, that, like, am I doing harm by assuming that I am not on the asexual spectrum? 
Uh, you're asexual. You're, you're the asexual. purposes of everyday life. Your sexuality is yours, and if you want to like slap a label on it because it helps you further articulate to partners or you or, or better understand yourself, that's fine. But as long as you're not being like, ugh, I could never be asexual because that's weird. I don't think that's a problem. But if you're just kind of mm. like, ah, yeah, maybe, I don't know, but I don't really feel like I have figured it out yet. I don't think that there's any harm in that. I mean, your sexuality and your journey is your own. Does that kind of yeah. answer your question? I hope I didn't misinterpret what you were asking. No, no you, you got it. Uh, I'm just like, to me, it's, it's indifferent, but like, is, is there I'm hopeless. a process that would be served or hurt by me uh, assuming that I am one way or the other? Like, I, I don't. I think look, I, I'm terrible with. It would be my concern. I'm terrible with labels. I, I really, I don't find them useful. I think they're useful in one sense that if you kind of think, well, I could be there and if it helps you sort out your own mind about things, then that's kind of useful. Mm -hmm. um, but otherwise, we all evolve and change so much over our lifetimes that we rarely stay in one label or another. We it usually overlap with so many other areas. Um, I think they're only really useful to you in trying to sort out where you are and and who you are. And it, but again, they don't necessarily last a lifetime either. Things change. And dynamics with people that you have relations with will also affect that. Um, I've had instances where my sex drive has been altered dramatically with different people. So they would have laughed at me calling myself an asexual. Yeah, my therapist says, like, it could be, like, a pheromone thing. Yeah. Because, like, some people, I'm like, eh. uh -huh. <laughs> But it really just depends. I'm like, oh, you smell good. But, like, yeah. I don't know it. it smells <laughs> like pheromones are funny. Yeah. Did that answer your okay. question to me? Um, yes, yes. It definitely answered most of my <clears throat> questions. I suppose I have, like, a bunch of, like, small questions, but I think you folks will hit it eventually on this call well if you have another uh, question go no. ahead but before you do uh just to answer one of the audience questions yes if you have a bdsm related question now is also the time to call when we have <laughs> an expert uh, on staff so uh amit go ahead if uh if you have another question oh no no it's good that that tiny ones i'll okay. uh if, if it's not covered i'll just like leave it in the chat somewhere All yeah right, and well, i think we're gonna do comments. discord after so that's what I was going to ask. Yeah, we'll do the Discord after show. Tangela, are you on Discord? Yes, I am. I hope you're a part of the <clears throat> YFNA Discord. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> if you're well, not, you will be. on that if you want to be in the after show. Uh, anyways, <laughs> Neat, thank you so much for your call. Thank you. All right, have a good one. I love him. Okay. <laughs> He's such a sweetheart. He's the freaking best. Mm. And Hannah loves his arms. His okay. arms? Okay, this what? is this is this is live. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Amit is a snack, Hannah we all know. It's fine. Well, moving on. <laughs> anyway.